Hello, my name is Epideni Kukar. I'm a CS PhD student at NJIT, part of the Big Data Analytics Lab. In this presentation, I'm going to talk about the effect of multi-session diversity for improving user satisfaction in web applications. It is a collaborative work between our lab, CNRS, and the University of the Philippines. Our work investigates how to model diversified recommendation inside and across sessions. A station is a set of items that a user consume at a given time, one by one. Motivate this work, I'm going to show you one example in one of a specific application, which is crowdsourcing. In this context, workers complete a small set of tasks at the time session and are likely to multiple such a session within a finite time, such as in a day. Task in the session can be treated as a set and sessions are sequence. In current practice in crowdsourcing, users log into the platform multiple times a day, work on a small set of tasks in a session and leaves. In current practice also, the presence of diversity within or across session is ad hoc and is based on user selection. The investigation that we embark on is to understand if one can systematically introduce a certain level of diversity within or across sessions, does it improve worker satisfaction, performance and engagement? To the best of our knowledge, ours is the ever formal investigation to this question. Right now in this example, you can see that the workers have completed similar tasks within and across sessions in current practice. But in diversity of our recommendation, we have different tasks within or across sessions. A user who engages in multiple sessions may intend to experience diversity within or across sessions. To define what intra and inter diversity means, I will consider as an example, uh, example of 12 tasks with two dimension that is recommended as a sequence of four sessions, each session with three tasks. The first dimension is the ski requirement of the task that is provided by the requester, and the second dimension is the task reward. To compute the intra-diversity on a skill dimension, we need to capture how the skill value of each task in a session deviates from the average by using this formula, where Ti is the skill value of each task in a session and mu s is the average of the session. The diversity of tasks between two consecutive sessions for reward dimension is referred to as interdiversity and is calculated based on this formula for each two consecutive sessions. To address the diversity in web applications, we define a formal problem. Given n items, we are interested to recommend a sequence of k sessions, each session with l items. Intra-session diversity is set-based, whereas inter-session diversity is sequence-based. Furthermore, intra- and inter-session diversity may be on different dimension of task. Naturally, this formulation gives rise to a bi-objective problem with the goal of minimizing or maximizing intra- and inter-diversities. Up to this point, I talked about the motivation and the problem that I'm aiming to solve. Now what I have left is to talk about theoretical results and the experimental results. In our theoretical investigation, we begin by studying the individual optimization first, just to get a deeper sense of the problem complexity and the nature of underlying problems. So we first study intra and inter optimization problems, considering both minimization and maximization given rise to four variants of the problem, which are shown in the first four rows in the table. Then we studied the combined version, the version of the problems, which are our actual goal of combining by objective of intra and inter with each other. Surprisingly, we noticed that other than mean intra, all other problem variants are mp hard. Our investigation shows that minimizing intra diversity inside the session is a polynomial time problem. Other than that, all other three individual optimization problems are MP hard. So when the intra and inter variants are combined, they all become MP hard. 
because inter problems irrespective of minimization and maximization are MP hard. Third column is the name of the appropriate, appropriate solution that we proposed. We designed XPIN intra for minimizing the intra optimization and we designed AppMax intra for maximizing the intra. The rest of the names could be understood in a similar manner. The next column is the running time of the, all of these algorithms. As you can see, all of these problems are highly scalable and they are typically depend on three factors. N that is the total number of items, K as the number of session, and L that is the number of items per session. In the last column in this table shows the approximation factor of individual variance and their combined variance. You can see that we have one exact solution and we also have a series of results that have approval approximation factors. For the last two variants of the problem, the combined uh, solution become heuristic. In the next slide, I'm going to study one of the variants of the problem, which is mean intra max inter. Essentially, the uh, studying the minimization and maximization of each of intra and inter dimension is leading to four different problems. As an example, one particular variant of the problem is mean intra max inter that is proposed to provide a sequence of sessions for the user where within the sessions the intra diversity is minimized and across sessions the inter diversity is maximized. If uh, using a running example, if the intra diversity within the session is defined on a scale of each task or the type of task, it is equal to recommend similar tasks within sessions and tasks with different rewards across the sessions. Even though we study a by objective optimization problem, we convert it to a constraint optimization problem with the goal of optimizing the inter, keeping intra as a constraint. The reason is that at least one variant of the intra optimization problem is polynomial time solvable. Uh, so this is just an effort to reduce the overall complexity of the problem and try to come up with a solution with provable guarantee. The other reason for this problem is that typically a by objective optimization problem produce all the solution in the Pareto front that are equally qualified on intra and intra dimension by converting the original by objective problem to a constraint optimization problem we are able to obtain one of these solutions that have a specific value for intra and will optimize inter. Uh, uh, since any solution in Pareto optimal front are equally qualified to be returned uh, as a solution to the user, hence we made this effort. Just like we have converted the problem as a constraint optimization problem, our solution approach is also similar to this conversion. What we do intuitively is that first we solve the mean intra problem, which I told already that is a polynomial time problem. And then given the mean intra solution, which is essentially a, a, a set of sessions, then we may sequence them in a way that it maximizes the inter diversity between the session. Therefore, al algorithmically, what we do is that we call the X mean intra subroutine that it sorts N items and group L items that are close to each other. For illustration, using our running example, the first step is to create a set of sessions such that intra diversity is minimized. That's uh, when our subroutine X min intra is called for a scale dimension and we get this set of session as the output. Given the solution of these four sessions, we are creating a complete graph by considering a node for each session and the weight of each edge in the graph is the intervalue of adjacent sessions to the edge for the reward dimension. The app max inter problem is akin to the longest path problem. And since we are dealing with the weighted graph, what we can do is that we can convert these positive weights to a negative weights by, uh, by introducing a minus sign and turn this pro problem to a traveling salesman problem that gives us a tour consists of all the nodes in the graph with the smallest weight. We run a two approximation algorithm for TSP on metric space 
that gives us a tour or cycle considering all these four nodes. And from there, we delete the edge with the smallest way to break the cyclicity and get a path that gives us the, that gives us the interleaving of these four sessions. We conducted two extensive real data experiments by recruiting the human subject from Amazon Mechanical Turk, one on playlist recommendation and the other one on task recommendation on crowdsourcing platform. For both these experiments, the overall workflow goes as follows. First, the users are recruited through the platform and they are asked to provide some preference. That is how we created the user profiles. Then based on the user profiles, our algorithms generate a sequence of sessions. That is step two. Then these sequence of sessions are recommended to the users and users provide a rating from one to five, which five is the highest and one is the lowest. For the next uh, few minutes, I'm going to focus on real data experiments for the task recommendation. We consider the four variants of the bioobjective problems, minimization and maximization of the intro and introversion and their combination. We consider, uh, we compare them with the no diversity baseline. We also consider a set of contexts. A context is a set of themes that we attempt to capture through these experiments. The goal of these real data experiments uh, is, to, is to see under different contexts how users are satisfied with different variants of the problem formulation compared to a baseline. We measure user satisfaction, quality, and throughput for the task recommendation experiments. In task recommendation experiments, the, the workers are shown two variants one that is short sessions that contains three sets with three tasks in each set. And the other is long session consists of five sets and each set consists of 10 tasks. This table shows the result of the different measures that we computed for the long sessions. Throughput refers to the average number of tasks completed per minute. A quality of a task is the percentage of correct answer with respect to a ground truth and the user satisfaction is a rating from one to five, which is provided by a user. In summary, our real data experiment says that diversified playlists achieved higher user satisfaction compared to no diversity baseline. Diversity also preferred over no diversity, and the definition of diversity varied in each context. In task recommendation experiments, short session did not have much improvement over the baseline, but in long sessions, the quality and user satisfaction are significantly better. We also conducted additional da uh, synthetic data experiments with the goal of evaluating our algorithm with appropriate baseline, including exact solution that are implemented through integer linear programming to compare quality and scalability. We use two different data set. One is one million signs and the other was synthetically created using task data set. We measured approximation factor and objective function value for the quality evaluation. And we compared the running time for the scalability evaluation. Our algorithm in practice exhibit better approximation factor than the theoretical guarantees and they scaled very well with large number of tasks and sessions. To sum up, we studied the impact of multi-session diversity in web applications and developed several algorithms with approximation guarantees. We also use humans in our empirical evaluation and use the synthetic data experiments to show that our algorithms outperform multiple baselines. As an extension of our work, we are going to use diversity in recommendation in a more personalized way for a worker based on the worker consumption of tasks in a real time. Thanks for listening and I'm happy to take any questions.